Let's try to make a perfect circle using the pen tool. Sure, common sense will tell you that if you need a perfect circle, just use the ellipse shape tool. But this exercise is to practice making and adjusting curves, and trying to make a circle with the pen tool is a great way to do it. Create a new document that is 8 inches wide by 4 inches tall. The resolution really doesn't matter, so keep the size down. Let's use 72 pixels per inch. Set your background contents to white because it'll be a lot easier to see our paths. The first step to creating anything with the pen tool is determining the minimum number of points you need to create your shape. The pen tool is perfect, you are not. This means that every time you click with the pen tool to create a new anchor point, you're creating a new opportunity to be wrong. Limit those opportunities by creating as few anchor points as possible. When it comes to the pen tool, less is always more. The fewest number of anchor points to create an accurate circle is 4. No more, no less. I could start by making a square, but then my bezier handles to create curves will have to be diagonal, exactly 45 degrees, to be correct. And that's difficult. So I'm going to start with a diamond. I'm going to use a grid to help increase my accuracy. To turn on grids, either go to the View menu and select Show, then check Grid, or simply hit the Control and Apostrophe keyboard shortcut. I also want to make sure Snap to Grid is turned on because it'll be a big help as well. Go back to the View menu, make sure Snap is checked, then go into the Snap to sub-menu and make sure Grid is checked as well. Now we're ready to begin. I like to start at the top, so I'm going to select the Pen tool and create an anchor point near the top of the document. Then holding down Shift to force a perfect 45 degree angle, I'm going to create the left side. Then onto the bottom, the opposite side, and now back to the top to close it off. I should now have a perfect, or near perfect, diamond. If any of my points seem off a little, I can use the Direct Selection tool, or the white arrow, to select and adjust individual points of concern. Now it's time to add our curves. Remember, we don't need to go to the toolbar and select the Convert Point tool. All we need to do is hold down the Alt button while using the Pen tool to switch. I'm going to click on the top anchor point, again holding down Alt, and create my bezier handles. I want them to stay on the grid line, so I can then also press Shift while pulling out the beziers and it'll stay perfectly parallel. I do not want to try and create the entire curve with just this point. All four points will have bezier curves that add together to create my circle. So I'm going to just pull them out a little to start and make sure they end on a grid line. I will now do the same to the next anchor point. I'll use the exact same technique as the first. I select the anchor point and start pulling out my bezier handles. I'll now additionally press Shift to keep the handles perfectly vertical. Now what is most important is to pull the handles out the exact same distance I did with my first anchor point. I continue to do this for the remaining anchor points. Now I look at my shape and try to determine what's wrong. If the top, bottom, left, and right sides are too flat, I pulled my bezier handles out too far. If my original diagonal sides are too flat, my bezier handles are too short. Now I can use the Direct Selection tool to adjust the handles as needed to create as perfect of a circle as I can make. Remember, it's critical that all my bezier handle lengths are identical, so I'm using the grid to keep them consistent with each other. I would recommend using exact grid lines. If that doesn't work, then trying to judge the exact middle between the grid lines is the only other viable option. So there's my circle. I'm going to move this pen tool created circle off to the left. Now I'm going to try it again with the curvature pen tool. This will be much faster and easier. The Curvature Pen tool creates curves for you automatically as you go, so I'm going to use the diamond shape again and the Curvature Pen tool will create the curves for me. I'll start at the top like I did before. Next I'll create my side anchor point. The tool needs three points to create a curve, so now I'll create my third anchor point at the bottom. Now as I click on the right side and close back off at the top, I've created a circle. Now I'll just line up my Curvature Pen tool circle over here to the right of the document. Again. If you ever need to create a perfect circle, simply use the ellipse shape tool and hold down shift. 
but the point of this exercise is to practice using the shape building skills you'll need in the future to be successful. It's very easy for me to check to see if you actually created your circle using the pen tool or if you just use the ellipse shape tool instead. So please, do the exercise exactly as I just described so you can get the practice you need for using the pen tool on future assignments. Good luck and enjoy.